Sunny is a film director and writer. He wanted a home that is functional, warm, cozy, but also like a modern art museum. We wanted to maximize the space and make the living area really feel like a respite for him in the middle of such a busy city. My name is Mara Manalo. I'm an interior designer, production designer, and founder of Studio Mara in the Philippines. Integrating hidden storage, using curtains in clever ways, and making your spaces more multi-purpose. Learn how to bring these and other genius ideas to life in your home. Reimagining Small Space Living is now shipping worldwide from the US, Europe and Australia. The apartment building is in Quezon City, one of the biggest cities in Metro Manila. The neighborhood is a bustling area, right in the middle of a busy highway, For this project, we wanted to create a space where Sunny can work from home, enjoy films, cook, and sometimes entertain guests. When we first found the apartment, it was a bare shell. We kept the open layout, which included the sleeping area, living area, and dining area. Then we added a custom kitchen, bathroom, and extra storage. The entrance opens to a view of the dining and living areas. From here, you can get a peek of the sleeping area too. There's an arch full length mirror to the right of the dining table. This helps to make the space look larger. The kitchen is along the wall on the left. It is compact but has everything Sunny needs. There is a hidden fridge and microwave as well as a comfortable sink, induction cooktop and oven. We mix closed cabinets and open shelves to make it visually interesting. The closed cabinets hide the unwanted kitchen clutter and the open shelves showcase Sunny's Le Creuset and mug collection. For all the cabinets, we use finger holes instead of door handles to make it look less cluttered. We use bleached solid wood and plywood with wood stain for a unified look a water-resistant solid wood was used for the kitchen countertop and splashback. We added a floor-to-ceiling pantry that can be accessed by sliding open a polycarbonate door. On the other side is a larger built-in storage. It has space for personal items like books and a Blu-ray collection and closed storage for shoes. Texture was added through the use of wooden slats on the cabinet. We chose green floor tiles for the kitchen to make it easier to clean. It also helps to create a separate zone for the dining and living. There is a small curve to soften the transition between spaces. For the dining area, we used a custom round table with green quartz top and a fluted wooden base that can seat up to four people. This also serves as Sunny's work table. The living area serves as the entertainment area. A light gray L-shaped couch can seat two to three people comfortably and also serves as an extra bed. We prioritized having a 65-inch TV that could be viewed from both the living and the sleeping area. We used a small side table instead of a large coffee table so it can be easily moved around. For the curtains, we added block-out roller blinds to fully conceal light when watching films during the daytime and sheer curtains to provide privacy without completely blocking light. It also adds softness to the space. The bedroom is in the L part of the open space living area. We used a textured cement wall to define the living and sleeping area. It creates a nice contrast to the other white walls. 
we added a platform which raises the sleeping area from the rest of the apartment. The platform also serves as extra storage for cleaning materials. There is a large built-in closet that almost spans the entire length of the bedroom for all of Sunny's clothes. At the end of the bed, there is a counter that also acts as a room divider. Sunny can also use this counter as a workstation when working from home. The entrance to the bathroom is behind the sliding door by the kitchen. We used polycarbonate instead of fluted glass since it's more cost-effective and easier to source. The translucent nature of the materials allows some natural light to enter into the bathroom. In a way, it also looks like a window, creating more depth. To provide a different mood, we played with color and textures in the bathroom. The ceiling is in a salmon pink paint finish and the upper half of the walls were painted in army green. The walls that are more prone to water splashes were tiled. Using a mix of materials also made it more economical to build. Beside the shower is the laundry space with a combo washer and dryer and some storage. We made sure that the lighting design addressed all functions. We used an under-cabinet lighting for the kitchen countertop a soft pendant lamp over the dining table, and another pendant lamp for the platform desk. You placed a reading lamp beside the bed to accentuate the space and utilize track lighting for general light because it's useful and flexible in the long run. In a busy place like Manila, people don't really have a choice but to flock to city centers where jobs are. This makes repurposing small, inner-city living spaces with clear and deliberate intentions even more important because the limited space needs to be maximized. These spaces need to be their residence refuge from their work days, made to feel like homes and safe spaces. Thanks for watching. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.